everybody, it's Uncle Destiny back with you today. Uh, <laughs> forgive the sort of hoarseness you hear in my voice, uh, as is I just came back from a much needed vacation and got sick while on my return trip. At the present moment, I'm waiting for the test results to come back, whether or not I caught COVID while on this trip. And I'm going to stress and remind everyone, if you have the ability to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. We're, we're, we're going to get through this. We need that vaccination. It, while I know it does not mean that everyone is actually cured from any of this, we are better able to address it when it comes up. So it's entirely likely, if I have caught it, that this was a much lighter and much more uh, easily dealt with situation than if I hadn't been vaccinated. So I'm going to stress that again, get vaccinated. Otherwise, let's go ahead and see what the ancestors have to say for the month of August. All right, so we have cast the bones, and what we've got here is the 11th house, which is a house of groups, friendships, social co social causes, and society. With the dinker adding on to that, we have the moon and the stars, which deals with faithfulness, fondness, harmony, benevolence, love, loyalty, and our um, femininity. And the, the proverb that goes with this one is the northern, the northern, the, sorry, the North Pole star has a deep love for marriage. She's always in the sky awaiting for the return of the moon, her husband. So this is keeping with what the uh, 11th how the dice shows. This is all very much about our sense of relationships. And what are the relationships that we are operating in? in groups, in our, with our friendships, with our social causes, and our society. And I'm going to take a moment and just step back to what I said in the earlier uh, portion of this video is, yeah, I went on this trip. I take responsibility for choosing to go to some place that had, was, had the potential of being a hotspot, and as it turns out, it did. And I specifically decided that when I went on this trip and came back, I purposely decided that I was going to take the following week of returning on this trip and self-isolate, just to be on the safe side. I didn't have to do that, but I chose to do that because it's both the responsibility I have to my friends and family, but also to the clients that I work with in their working with their mental health. While it's gonna create some difficulty, it just underlines the situation we are in. So this is all about relationships and the relationships we have going on here. So what we've got in the bones themselves. <clears throat> this one is home. We really don't need to worry too much about that one, but it's there. This one is work. This one is our social connection. Now, as we see from the standpoint here with the work bone, we've got a, several of the support bones going around it. In fact, even the... Um, one of the rib bones here, which shows us the uh, shows us the aspects of support, and it brings us even more down to the pop the spinal bone. This tells me that the projects that are going to be working on in this next month are going to be full of inspiration. There needs to be a lot of thought put into them. We need to be able to focus for what we are birthing new. We also have the uh, copper piece that is near it. So there is no divine inspiration going on. So keep in mind that whatever we're doing for work, and again, this is not just what you pay the bills with, this is the purpose for which we are, purposes we are here in this globe and world for, they're gonna to relate to how we are bringing inspiration to groups, to our friends, to our social, and centering around social causes and society. What are we doing to, again, make the world better? And that part of that comes in with being responsible around our health and our health comes to how we are also in relationship with others. Are we taking unnecessary risks? One of those things I will say with my trip, it wasn't necessary for me to take some time off after what we've been through in this last year to work and maintain my own mental health. But as much as I did that to my own mental health, I also needed to make sure my physical health was there. And that's also making sure that I don't spread things needlessly. 
And so spirit is going to recognize that. Spirit is going to also work and influence that. So when we come over here to family, again, we have multiple of the uh, support bones, but we also have both the broken rib bone partially here and the broken rib bone, which is more of the one that looks like the dagger. So there is the potentiality of family strife. There is also a standpoint of family strength as well. Uh, but it's going to be coming about out, the outwardly aspect, and that's what's shown here with the shell. And the fact that we have the outside of it shown. And the fact that this is going to be stuff that's going to be coming outwardly. Although, I will also say that because the one that looks kind of like the cane is slightly under this one, it means that we're going to be looking to address issues around those family members or those situations that deal with those, um, I would not say just that are older, but probably those that may have some sort of compromised state. Maybe they are elderly. Maybe they have, they are like a, um, um, what's the word I'm looking, kind of like the conservatorships that, uh, and that Britney Spears is under, although probably much better uh, manage. We're looking at who might be needing more, like a fixed income. And so they need what can, are the little extras that need to be brought in for them. That's going to be what's going to be focusing on here around family. Now, when we come back to the quartz crystal, which is also in contact with this one around family, remember quartz is the crystal of memory. It's a uh, one that keeps us with our deep connection, that mineral. And that's why the standpoint of how are we working with those memories of us that we function in a group, in our friendships, in our social causes, and in our society. How are we being faithful? How are we being fondful, having fondness? How are we trying to bring about harmony and benevolence and love and loyalty? Because one of the biggest things that we struggle with in any family setting is the struggle of how we're finding both love, acceptance, and trust, let alone safety as well. And in some of our families, we can find that. Some of them aren't, and which is where we build the families of choice. And sometimes we find those in the groups that we are part of as well. It may take more and it may take greater stretches to connect with that aspect of the, what's going on in our social groups and our families of choice, but there are elements there at play as well. So, what else have we got here? We're going to keep this one short as it is, like I said, with my voice. Uh, we also have this one over here. This one is going to be shooting more for September. This is uh, much more about structural supports, and I see it's coming in towards our work. There are some bigger goals that are going to be playing out there. Um, and there's going to be some wishes that are also going to be played out, too, as we can see with this one here. Well, we're going to keep this one short. I also and and basically say this is what we've got coming in for the month of August from the ancestors and the spirits and the Eurasia that we're going to be focusing on the eleventh house, which is the groups, the friends, the social causes, and our society. We're focusing on being faithful, faithfulness, fondness, harmony, benevolence, love, loyalty, and the feminine aspects in all of these things of groups, of friends, of social causes, of society, in our work, and in our family. So that's what I've got to say for, the, uh, for this and for the ancestors, and I wish you well. I also want to plug that, the, that in the next few months, I will be starting a podcast called Untying Knots, and I hope to have more information for that soon this is going to be more of a mental health focused podcast and so as i have more details on that keep an eye out for it and have a good one